Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video for any of you firefighters out there, or anybody interested in recycling or things being handmade. And what this is, is this is a radio strap holder. The specific radio that it is fitted to is a Motorola APX, I think it's a 6000, it may be a 5000, one of the two. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's just basically a recycled piece of fire hose that I cut, fitted, and stitched to fit this radio. Uh, so the first thing I did was made the pouch, which I folded over the fire hose and stitched it up along this axis. And one of the things that I had to do for a good portion of this is when you cut this fire hose, I believe, horizontally, it'll have a tendency to unstitch over time, over use. So what I did, so you can see my stitching right there, and that's just to kind of help keep the, uh, the weaves together and uh, you know hopefully it'll stay together a long time but yeah that's, that's basically that and next I'll show you the back so the main strap portions are held on from these two pieces of fire hose and those are held on to the actual pouch by three rivets and again you can see I just stitched up real nice at the bottom to ensure that uh, or well hopefully to ensure that that doesn't become unstitched over time and just a couple of buckle straps, which they're stitched onto my straps. And then how the radio actually stays in here, other than a nice conforming fit, is I cut a hole right here and right here. And then I took this, I believe this is quarter inch bungee cord. I tied a knot in the back for each of these loops. They go to this piece of hose in the front here. That's just a button and that unbuttons nice and easy and you can take the radio out nice and easy. And additionally, found where I like to keep the uh, mic on me, the proper height, and then I actually secure this to the, uh, to the main strap via a button. So for whatever reason, if I ever wanna adjust this, all I need to do is uh, punch a new button in there, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think.